Now I'm using my homemade laptop battery drill to put in this screw um, without any pilot hole. And this is a coarse thread screw, so it's difficult to drive. So, no problem. This is the battery drill I made. I bought a really cheap drill, an old drill. It's uh, 7.2 volts. It had some shitty batteries, nickel, cadmium or something. So I took one entire laptop battery, six lithium ion cells. Uh, I think it's about 50 watt hours of power. And then I arranged them in two sets in series and uh, three sets in parallel. So this gives me eight volts, about the maximum when each cell is at four volts. And when they're each at three, it's about six volts. So this is rated for 7.2. So the voltage is pretty close. I think I'm only gonna discharge the batteries about half and then charge them again. So they're hovering more around seven. So they don't go as low as six. Um, but I have three battery packs to handle the high amperage. Um, at 1C, um, these, these cells can pull about 2 amps. So this thing pulls 6, 7, 8 amps. So it's just over 1C um, when the drill's on. So this will be able to run um, under load for about an hour. And it works really well. Now I left these two. These are all the positives and all the negatives in the battery pack. I left these exposed because I'm going to hook these together. Um, and plug them into the wall to charge it. And I want everything to be on the outside so I can check the um, voltage of each cell and balance them um, instead of trying to squeeze them into the handle. So this is what I built this thing for, driving in screws. And I like the speed. You can actually put, um, you can find a drill with higher voltage and put three cells, or you can maybe even run um, 12 volts through this 7.2. It uh, might damage the drill. Uh, so I went with this, but for drilling, it's a little bit slow. It works, but um, it's a lot better for driving in screws. So I just put the bit in there, the Phillips bit, and then we screw away. So the first part worked really well. You can really see the torque at the end. See, it completely, it twisted this piece of wood. You can really around that screw if you want, and that's nice and flush. So, this thing works really good. So, the great uh, thing about this exterior design, having everything outside, is I have the two leads, all the positive, all the negative, you just attach them, and this is my pack voltage, 7.75. So it's about full at eight volts, and it's about empty at six. So it was that, I was charging it, it was about um, 7.8 volts, and I just uh, put in a, did some screwing and, and put in a, um, screw, did some drilling, and it just dropped 0 0.05 of a volt. So it really will last for about an hour. So charging the battery drill is very easy. Um, there's those uh, external connections. So you just have to make sure that this one, the positive, is connected to the positive of the charger. So I just have this 12 volt, one amp charger. I pulled it off uh, something else, some kind of uh, transformer that I don't use anymore so it was basically free I had it lying around the house um, just because these are two cells and it's eight volts the amperage is a little too high when I'm charging all three packs together so I put a lot of small um, alligator clips together to provide resistance so I just plugged it in and now I am charging the drill and it's pulling 0 0.78 0 0.79 amps so it's um, less than an amp which is good because this charger is only really safe to an amp and um, that 0.7 is divided by all three packs. So they're receiving uh, maybe a third of an amp each. So it'll take maybe two hours to charge like this, but that's not a problem. So I just leave it like this. I put a timer on to make sure the voltage doesn't get that high. And I can just check the voltage um, right there off the, the two leads. It's empty would be six volts. So it's pretty much fully charged. I can use it and I'll just check it every now and then. Um, it's going to start losing power as it gets close to 6 volts, so it'll be very hard to um, discharge the batteries too much. Um, that does damage the batteries, but with this drill, uh, I notice a power drop, and then I just hook it up again like I did before, um, charge the battery until it gets too close to 8 volts, and then I can use it again. So it works excellent. So I attach a small drill bit to the drill. I think it's about 3, 30 seconds. So I use this to drill pilot holes, and this is one of the reasons I wanted two drills. I want this drill to drill pilot holes in my plug-in drill, um, to actually uh, put the screws in, or actually vice versa. This is a little bit slower, so it's better to drive screws, and that one's faster, it's better to drill. So this doesn't drill that well, but uh, it, it puts screws in a lot better.